Kimberly. Welcome back to Cross Stitch University. Today I'm going to show you how to take your stitched finish and put it into a flat fold using sticky boards and it's going to have a nice clean finish. So join me today. Once you've completed your piece, remove it from your Q-snap and we're going to press out any creases. Some people prefer not to press on top of your piece, so if you don't have any creases in here, you don't have to. I do like to make sure that there's any creases around the piece that those are taken out. Another option is to press on the back and just do a gentle press. And from here, you might notice that there's a little curve right here. So I'm going to try to take that out. The way I'm going to do that is pull opposing sides. Just pull it until I kind of get it a little bit straighter. And now we're ready to mount. Now we're going to play around with how much fabric we want to be showing from the edge of our piece. And I like to have about a quarter inch showing, which would be about that much on each side. And what I do is turn my piece over and I'm going to use a friction pin because the ink will disappear with heat later. I'm going to use a Creative Grids ruler and I'm going to draw a line a quarter inch away from the edge of my stitching. And if your stitching is a little bit off, just pull it a little bit. We're going to use these lines as our measurement to cut our sticky board. So from here, I'm going to measure, and that's five and three quarters and five and three quarters. So that's the size that we are going to be cutting our sticky board. From here, we're going to cut four sticky boards. They're made by Press-On, and you will see that one side is flat and one side has a sticky side. So you can find these at Fat Quarter Shop. We decided to buy one 16 by 20 inch piece so that we could cut four from them. You'll wanna use a rotary blade that's used for paper and not used for quilting or sewing. And we're gonna cut four of those 5.75. So you'll just cut those out using your ruler and then save the rest of your sticky board for another project. One board is going to be used to mount your piece. One board will be used for the back flat fold and two boards will be used back here. Now we can start putting our piece together. Now we're gonna take two of our four sticky boards and attach a piece of batting to one side. So you will take the sticky side, pull this off, put it right on your batting, cut around the edge, making sure everything is nice and flat. We've already done that and you can see the two pieces here and the main thing is that you don't have any creases in here. Now from here we're going to set one of these pieces aside and we're going to attach to this piece our finished piece. So we drew the lines on the back and you just want to place this in here to make sure it's about the right size, it doesn't have to be exact. And we're going to be folding this back but you don't want to have too much bulk. So what I like to do is just trim about one inch from the drawn line. And as you're doing this and you do more and more pieces, you can decide if you like one inch or more or less. It's very subjective. Just make sure you don't accidentally cut into your cross stitch. So from here, what we're going to do is put the batting side down and we're going to use hot glue to adhere the stitched piece to the sticky board. And I just look at the front to make sure it is pretty even, except right here it's a little bit off, so I'm gonna just pull that up and pull it a little bit more taut so it is now straight. Now from here, what we're gonna do is turn our corner in, make a triangle, add a little glue, and pull your corner down and let it sit. And you're gonna do two opposing corners, and then we'll add this down.
and our front looks nice, so we can move to the next step. Now you're gonna bring back your sticky board that has batting on it and your scrap of fabric. This is one quarter of a yard. And what we're going to do is cut four inches from this side, one inch from this side, one inch from this side, and one inch from this side. And you will just use your ruler to cut that. And what that is going to look like is right here. So you can see you've got one inch here, one inch here, and this piece that's longer is going to create the overlap. So now what you're going to do is take your hot glue gun, fold this in, glue it down, create corners, glue that down, and do the same thing on this side. And it's going to look like this. And remember, batting side is down and three sides are enclosed. Now we're gonna move this away and bring back our two remaining sticky boards that do not have batting on them. Using your accent fabric, cut one inches around all sides for both. Now you're gonna take your remaining two sticky boards that do not have batting on them, bring in your accent fabric, and this time for both of them, you're gonna cut one inch all the way around and your pieces will look like this. So you will have two pieces that are larger, so you have room to pull down. What you will do is remove your sticky, place it down on your fabric, make sure you don't have any wrinkles. So the wrong side of the fabric, sticky side down, you will do the same thing we did with the flat fold. Glue this down, create corners, then glue the opposite sides down. And that will look just like this, and you just wanna make sure that your corners look nice. So in summary, we have four pieces. These two have batting. This one has an extra four inches at the top. And these two do not have batting and they all look just like this. So now we're gonna create the tongue of the piece and that is going to be what holds it in place where it will stand upright. Cut from your complementary piece a four by six inch rectangle, fold it in half, then you will bring your two folds in, fold it one more time, and here you can iron if you want to, and you can either hot glue this down, or you can do a stitch right along the edge. Now we're gonna take our piece that has the four inches at the top, and then one of the pieces that does not have batting and your tongue. And what you will do is find the center and you will place the tongue down and about half inch up and just place some glue, place it down. Then you will take this and the key to this is to line up the bottom and ignore the top. And you want it to just be as close to the edge as the front so it looks good on the back and this side. So from here, I'm gonna put hot glue on this piece on all four sides and in the center and place it down and just let that dry for about a minute. So from here, we're gonna add our other piece that has fabric with no batting, put it right side down, and then we're gonna pull this back. You want it to be taut but we wanna see how far down we need to put our glue. So now we're gonna put glue here. So right here, I've not put too much glue, so now I'm going to make it even and then add the glue so that it can stay nice and flat on the edge. From here, you're gonna bring the tongue up and insert it here and about half an inch. And just add some glue, just like you did below, and just let that dry. Now you'll take your remaining piece, which is your stitched piece, and we're gonna put this right on top. You can either glue this piece or this piece. I'm gonna be safe and do this piece. Now from there, you can leave it or you can add cording. 
So we're gonna add cording around the edge and what that's gonna do is just hide these areas. This is totally optional. And we bought just some pre-made cording at Hobby Lobby. This has tape on it because you don't want it to unwind and it came actually like that. And I'm gonna put some glue back here and it will hide behind your tongue and I will let that dry. And then I'm just gonna add the cording all the way around. And as you go, just make sure to let it dry before you go to the next side. Now from here, we're gonna add some tape wrap it around and this is going to keep it from unraveling and then just cut you're going to pull this to the back just going to glue them right next to each other so from the front you can just kind of squeeze these together to make it nice and pretty and it will sit right up and that's how you make a flat fold using sticky board. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box and I'll answer them. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.